Guts! Do you have it? Do you have it? Come Oh, big news. Jake has the first pick. I have the second. Zach, you have the third. But next episode... I thought you traded your pick. Yeah. I traded my next first. I didn't trade my, he didn't oh, my second. Oh, because I wanted your first pick. Next yes. episode, I have the yeah, yeah, first yeah. overall, and you get it. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. But for now, just the third pick for you. It could be another trade in the works. After the second event, you're allowed to make trades. You missed her hat, and you'd like it. Oh, the bonnet. What were they doing? What were they just doing? Living, man. Their asses were out. That's all these people did was live. But their butts were just, they were full. They're dancing. There's just a lot of cocaine. Look at their shoes. That's cool. Yeah. No one asked them to do that. I have first pick. You have first pick this up. Okay. I botched my first round pick last step. In the rambunctious red from Howard Middle School, Russell, Rustic, kick, 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 Canary. Russell, I will take cut, Russell. Cut, 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 Canary. Russell Canary. Oh, well, you look, at, look how tall purple is. I know. Did you see him stretch? Rusty's a great name. Oh, my God, she's 17. I will take awesome. Heather. I will take Heather. Zach? Seems like I've got blue. Okay. Yeah. You don't even know his name? I don't remember. I think you're going to win, but I think you need yeah. it. The action sports show where kids live out their greatest sports fantasies. Today's players will once again be battling their way through four spectacular events. And after that... Feels like he's got a poop. Radical rock, the aggro crag. He looked Almost like... Anything can happen. That's a bad shot of it. Very <laughs> here. The player with the most points at the end of all of our events is the winner. And he or she will get to take home a glowing piece of our radical... Rock. Not to be like right. too blunt. Shelly is the least amount of faith I've had in a contestant since watching Guts. She Shelly seems, seems like three years younger. Three like years it seems younger. like it's going to pop up. Shelly's 10. And Heather's like, her older okay. cousin. Beats her in everything. Uh, I, don't remember. Yeah, I think she's going to be 10. Specifically yeah. designed with our players yeah. safety Bad pick by Zach. They will be wearing safety equipment and they will have a professional stunt coordinator pesky. and stunt spotters with them at all times. She time. could get so through please, the, uh, the net faster. Now on to our Heather first might event, be which we call a problem over the top. We're gonna strap oh, our new players one. into a harness and then let them loose on our high jump bar. Mm. Oh wow! Break any Olympic records. Let's go to Shelly. Might be more good for this one. Definitely won't break Mo, any talk to me. Records. Mike, our players will get three shots to clear the high jump bar: six feet nine inches, seven feet five inches, and eight foot one inch. Now, um, only the best jump will be counted, and the player with the Do those make jump sense. Wins. So, with that, let's make sure that we're all harnessed up. I don't know go. the game, but if you're going Mike? in six you're inch increments. Why don't you just say like? Six feet, six and a half feet, seven feet. Getting the harness on that that platform they're jumping from is, uh, I believe, a seven foot six inch platform. Okay, we're ready to go. On your mark. You believe? Get set. And here is Michelle with the jump. She is on. Oh, <laughs> splat! <laughs> that crush Got high enough. Crushed it. <laughs> that was like a wrestling move. How like many she, tries do you get? Three. Listen, listen to Mike. I didn't listen to a single word. Looks like she's ready for a second jump. Mo, take it away. On your mark. Get oh, set. Yeah. Got to go forward more. I do like go her. forward more. Yes! Yeah. That was a great adjustment. Do you want to trade? So proud. Do you want to trade with Zach? so proud over there. Do you want to trade with him? I've never seen him this proud. What do you say, Mike? She's going for two. Well, now they're going to raise it, right? Yeah. That's seven foot five. It was six nine before. So, like, why not seven and then seven and a half? Oh, they're trying to break Eight Olympic records. Bitches from Shelly Ely looking sharp on that one. Oh, so that <coughs> oh. being her third Ooh. jump. Ooh. Let's go for the official Mouse. results from Mo. Mo, take it away. So Shelly in blue cleared seven feet five inches. All right, seven yeah. feet. Good job, Mo. Inches. That's a great. That was a great update. Shelly. I had forgotten. Well, we just watched. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No additional <laughs> info. <laughs> We're now be getting our next player and it's over. <laughs> You need to clear the first one to be able to get to the third level. So it looks like uh, Rusty is going to start off at six point. Rusty, inch. don't sure fuck this up first. for me. I think he's going to do good here. Right now. And let's go. Looks I like think Heather ready. might snap a leg. Get set. He is Rusty. He is Rusty. Oh, my goodness gracious. I don't. I can work. 
I can't coach that. Started a Do you want to trade? <laughs> I can't coach that. Because you can trade a pick. Zach doesn't have good picks, so he's always <laughs> down to trade. I'm always down. Hello, Russell. you can say goodbye to his six foot nine inch height. Why are we whispering? On your mark. I think that might have been the problem on that one for Rusty. You know what they say. Hello, Rusty Jones. Goodbye, Rusty Cars. Let's see if we can say goodbye to his six foot nine inch height. On your mark. Get set. That's so good. Here we go, Rusty. Jump, kid. Yeah, oh, he figured out how to jump. Oh, I should use my legs. <laughs> he thought the thing was just going to, like, whip him. He didn't know he had to actually kick. Don't. We can't. With the greatest of ease. Looks like he was hurtling that. No problem like Edwin Moses with one leg stretched out, one leg tucked behind him. Looks like Rusty's up to seven foot five inches now. We'll see if he can match. We can't show Rose this. I can do this in Blitzball Blitz. Yeah, it's a good idea. Oh. <laughs> he went sideways, Pop. I'm starting to think the successful one was an accident. Let's get the official reading from Mo. Mo. Rusty in red also cleared seven feet five inches. So our next player. Seven foot five inches. Our next player, Heather. Wait. So oh, whether they make it or not, it gets yeah. higher. Oh, okay. Yeah, in there that mouthpiece looks too big. Looks like a whole half a lemon in her. Are mouth. you worried Heather's too lanky for this? Yeah, I know you are. But she might be great at it. There's a chance she's the best. Didn't look. Oh. I mean, that was perfect form. All right, there's Heather. Clearing All seven right, foot there's nine Heather. Inches. I just want to correct myself. Rusty did not clear seven foot five inches. He okay. was at six foot nine That's inches. what I thought. So Zach, Zach fist pumped. Big one. I, we will see if Heather I just knew what I saw. I, I thought they were like maybe yeah. changing. We all knew it was wrong. Yeah. But we think this could be rigged. Her form <laughs> is impeccable. <laughs> oh, no. no problem for the crusher. No Dude, problem for the crush. She's got the purple lane on the aggro crag. It's over. Do you regret making your pick before seeing all the contestants? No, because I, I needed to get you back, especially with your draft pick next round. That's a win. I mean, she was great. It's a world record. She was poised. That's a world record. It's a world record. Feet from Soto Mayer, the Cuban. Let's go to Mo for the official results on that one. Heather and Purple Dropped too many Olympian songs. So that puts her in first place. In second place, we have... I do think this could light a fire under inches. Rusty. And Rusty in red cleared I think he thinks Heather's unbeatable. But Shelly beating him, he has no understanding. Look at that. I think she's an Olympic diver. Her, her it's thing... It's a good finish. She wasn't going to get there without that final kick. I think her bio is going to say she's a diver. How did it feel to jump like that? Cool. <laughs> what did it feel like? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, it was fun. Well, like jumping, it was Mike. fun. All right, we got it from her. Let's go to Mo from the lead to the leaderboard. <laughs> what now, did it Mo. feel like? Mike, first place in our events is worth 300 points, and that goes to Heather in purple. In second place with 200. He's a crag guy. And in third place, he will win the crag, but too little too late. He's a crag guy. I mean, now you have there's other points before the crag. Like you have one more event before you can offer a trade. Mm. Well, it's time for Michelle to spill her guts. Shelly, spill your guts. Yeah, spill your guts, Shelly. Ooh. Shelly, Fierce. 11. Eleven. Shelly dares to be different. Yours is <laughs> 15. <laughs> Took a helicopter ride once. Champion gymnast. Local. House league. Her and three other kids on the balance team. Shelly Ellie? Shelly, no, Michelle Ellie. And our next event is called Eat My Dust. Yeah, that's what I'm always telling you. BMX I have said that a lot. Take off around our track, going through the bump and dump, the tipping tubular tunnel, the sack attack. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo. That was well, Mike, each of our players will race against the clock on our BMX bike course. Russ. Will be added <laughs> Just can't be last. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, second's so cool, but. Get set. We're riding bikes. Yeah, this is, uh, this is just straight up a bike ride. Oh, no, sand. Guts. Okay. They love that ramp. Yeah. They thought that ramp. Punching bags. That's awesome. That's kind of tough. These guys just jump her. Slow her down. A little hesitation at the end, Zach. Hope that doesn't cost you. I think they've got a lot of fear that the kids are just going to fall over yeah. <laughs> off that ramp. We don't need the jump. Yeah. I have to yeah. tell you something. It might be sexist. Rusty should dominate. He's got to beat 21 points. I didn't like that start. He's got to get that momentum 
I didn't either, okay. but I like that. Yeah, I like that. But I like that. Oh, that's a big turn. No, but he was getting the angle. He didn't get caught up in that sand. He was getting the angle. Go through the bags hard. Imagine he yeah. Oh, dude, he's going to crush his jump. Dude, he's going to jump in pose. Finish. What are you doing, Rusty? Wake up. This is guts. This is guts. <laughs> She's on a goddamn motorcycle. <laughs> oh, no. I'm on a brand new bicycle. I, she's not winning. <laughs> Mike, oh. chill out, Mike. Oh, oh yeah, oh. no. Ha, ha. That could be a big penalty right here, folks. A penalty? Give her two penalties. A penalty? Well, three penalties. Could be a penalty added on to that. Let's get the official time from our referee, Mo. Mo. Heather finished in 25.7 seconds. That includes a two-second penalty. Now, that puts Shelly in first place, Rusty in second place, and Heather hey, in third Hey, do you want to offer a trade? Oh, no, okay. I'm uh, Team Rusty from the start. Each other after that race. Let's take a look at Shelly right now. A hey, good race, Zach. Shelly Ellie. Like back for the 49ers. And then coming over just the like ramp that. with the beautiful time, Shelly. Wow. Airborne. All righty, Shelly. Okay. Okay. Shelly, what was your favorite part of that obstacle course? Winning. Jump. Going under and through the seesaw part. The seesaw, the tipping tubular tunnel. She <laughs> made it. She won that round. Let's go to the leaderboard right now. We got branding here, Shelly. <laughs> Master class. <laughs> Get it right. <laughs> the tipping tubular tunnel. Oh, Tunnel. Rusty! <laughs> <laughs> this is a good battle, because I don't think Shelly's going to win out. She's too young. Yeah, I mean, at this point, we might need the pool, just because that's, that's a great equalizer. You know what? Mm. Shelly could have an awesome, awesome maze round. Well, we're doing this first. Yeah. Can you pause it real quick? In the last episode, when we were Googling, I think you had left the room, but I was reading it with Zach. There was like yeah. a Reddit MMA. And some good info was that for the bungee events, they practiced once or twice. Right. But for, oh, the, did this. for the maze, they, did not, they do not let them watch each the other. other opponents. Yeah, so we didn't share that There's with the no audience. Bias, so, like, yeah. when I keep saying, how could you not learn right. from watching them? They going didn't, last is yeah, a huge going advantage. Going last, yeah. Yeah, they don't. That's smart. They, they did that. Yeah. Integrity. Guts. Do you have it? One of those kids. Poopy butt. <laughs> <laughs> Same. I got a crush on Heather. Ooh. Russell Canary. That. Is too much anger for a child. <laughs> Plays baseball. Likes bike riding. Didn't win the event. Might be a John Boy Media fan. All right, and that's Rusty. Hope he doesn't run into any of those park cars. Our next event is called White Water, and we are going to create in our pool a raging river that is going to toss our players around like rafts in the rapids. Only through sheer strength and intestinal fortitude will they be able this to make ridiculous. it. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo, talk to me about the rules. <laughs> Mike, our players will maneuver their boats around two buoys. Our oh, they're the in a boat. The will make sure that they touch oh, the this end is of the pool. Joe's? Time penalties will be added for any uh. violations. <laughs> Best time wins. So, on your mark, get set. All right, and that's Shelly Ely having some trouble. Zach. Got to figure out how it works. Actually, to be honest, yeah. they're on their own in a fake boat raft. That's kind of tough. Yeah. To be 11, that's... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Definitely hung up in the rapids. They're going to help her soon. This is not easy. Yeah, this is a pretty hard event. Oh, okay. They don't have to go back. Thank God. I think they I think they decided that halfway through that <laughs> round. Through that water. They're getting the raft Through that into water. the pool for our next player, Rusty. Let's go to the official time. Shelly finishes in 26.9 seconds. I think that was an all right race. Seconds. Excellent. That guy's always in pool water. duty. Yeah. <laughs> He's a water person. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Rusty. Okay. Uh, okay. He's not digging enough water. He's just chopping it. He's like a fly on top of the water. You got to dig in, Rusty. I actually kind of like it. Go to the side and just, yeah. Yeah, cheat. 
Wow. Uh-oh. Come on, Rusty. Extend. It's Rusty. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, he's going to have some real trouble. He's got to make it around that buoy, folks. He's got to get his in the water. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It takes the proper form of getting the left side of your paddle and then the right side because the water can definitely toss your boat around. And that raft, here we go. He's very close. All he needs to do is hit. He's got to hit the high five. He cannot just hit the four. He has got to come over to our <laughs> Oh, no. Does anyone want to <laughs> <anyone wanna>, trade? <laughs> Trade's on the table. You missed the trade window. <laughs> it feels like we hit the window. Trade's on the table. Yeah. Closed. I thought the window opened. I thought you said no, it was well, after well, two events. It opens, but then there's, there's, a, there's a deadline. In between the second and third event. Yeah, there's a trade deadline. Yes. Oh. Touch the kid's hand. Touch the kid's hand. There's the high five right there. Okay. Oh, you did good. It's frustrating. Let's go the official time. From our referee. Ah, we don't need it. Rusty finished in 64.4 seconds. We held the time until he directly touched the spot of hand. Oh. Okay. Mo. Mo. Like Heather, the crush is ready. On your mark. Here we go, Heather. Set. All right, here's Heather. Got to make some good time. I like, that. she's getting a lot of that white in the water. I like that. She's the one from no the start. Problem. She's digging. Okay. Everyone else. Screams. Oh, mm. she's making unbelievable time. She's crushing the competition. She's 24 years old. <laughs> oh, no way, dude. That was incredible. She has more muscle in her arms than I do right now. Not joking. It's oddly similar. Sure does. And Rusty's a, like a deep third. Like, I mean, the fact that he doesn't get, like... Interval, no points. Maneuvering her way, she had incredible balance on that one, folks, and just drove right past the first buoy. Maybe Rusty's never. The second buoy, water was no problem, and now we're gonna actually take a look at the leaderboard right now <laughs> and get the official score. Bump. Mike, we have a tie in first place. Honestly, I'll take it. Blue and Heather in purple have the hundred points. points. Yes, yeah, that's and what Rusty I'm saying. It's not deserved. Like the fact okay. we're still in range. A tie right now. And now it's a chance for the crusher to spill her guts. So crush. Spill your guts. Her name's Crush. Heather the Crusher. Crusher. Crew. Crew. 14 years old. An avid gymnast. Junior Olympics. 14. She's at the Junior Olympics. She's 14. The I knew she was a gymnast. Broke her toe while vaulting. 11, 12, 14. Line. Yeah. You might break it. And that's the Crusher. Uh, the vault, the gymnast, her jumping in the first event. What is this? It's called spiral. Football. Rusty And we're going to get a this. chance to see our players... Do a little Joe Montana action right here. We're going to give him an elastic cord. I actually have uh, Shelly being pretty dynamite at this. I think she grew up with a dad who played whistle, football with her a lot. All three players will jump off the aerial bridge with a football in their hands. The object of the game is to get as many I had something mean to say, and I decided I'm not going to say it. Was it about the little kids? The players must bounce on the ground before they it was about my balls. contestant. The player with the most balls through the tire yeah. wins. On your mark. Come on, Rusty. <laughs> and our players are off right here. There is Shelly. Rusty missed his first throw. Like I think they all have. Yeah, I don't think they made one yet. Rusty missed his second throw. Rusty hasn't Rusty. gotten back up. <laughs> Rusty got caught in the middle. <laughs> Rusty's stuck in limbo. Oh, it's actually um, it's actually what I was gonna say is I thought Rusty was gonna she just, get the mind just jumped without a ball. Oh man, I thought Rusty was gonna get. Stuck in the contraption. Hey, one hey they might have just cheated the game there, and they're just going to give Rusty some points. One wins it. Rusty. Rusty? No one has one, right? Unless there was one off air. Are they all tie and all get first place points? Getting the football into the tire. There's a look at Rusty and Heather as they're getting prepared. Moe's got the results. Mo. Tied in first place, we have Rusty and Heather Woo! with one ball each, and Shelly is in third place with no balls. Excellent. <laughs> An excellent, <laughs> excellent game. I don't know. Show me the replay of them putting one in. I don't think that happened. I don't think that happened. Bike motocross race. You have seen them go through the rapids. You have seen them throw footballs like Joe Montana. We have had an excellent game today. Like Let's Joe check Montana. out the leaderboard. 
In the lead, we have Heather with 1,000 points. Coming in second, Shelly and Blue with 800 points. And in third place, Rusty and Red with 700 points. That is that, and I gotta <gasps> tell you something. That is I that. Think it should be a new James Bond movie called Live and Let Climb. What do you think? The That's, what do you think? Up he gears up. He doesn't gear down. So I don't know I, the elastic jungle. I kind of I thought it was a staple. I like it. Mm -hmm. It's a good barometer. Of does your guy have guts or not? About to happen. The aggro crack. Before we get to that, let's look at our leaderboard. Mo. Come on, Rusty. Events, Heather and Purple is in the lead with one. I always forget the scoring here. I think if Rusty wins and Heather finishes last, he does have it. But I don't know if I believe in it. Oh, I love and the highlight reels. Right now, and that That's a gymnast. Perfect form. Broke her toe on the vault once. Over that. that was no a great problem. finish. Perfect a form. I take a look at Rusty. Why are we watching this? This was well, his best event. He was running a great race. Yeah, didn't finish. Until the jump where he didn't finish. Similar in the water. First time seeing water. Like the best of them, and then here she like comes. Like the best of them. Over the final ramp. She got a little air here. Straightens it out. She the finished. From the spotters as she crosses the finish line. Look how short Mo is. It's wild. I think she's like four ten. All right, now take a look at Heather as she makes her way through the white water rapids, moving that oar, putting water everywhere. There's the high five. That was a dominating she's event by Heather. Sharp. All right, so let's see. Do we see any go in? Oh, put one in, Rusty. Put one in, Rusty. Yes, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. That's my quarterback. Rick. And now we have the aggro crag coming up. Anything can happen on this mountain. You can see snowstorms, rock avalanches, things going everywhere, slime floods. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo. Players will start at the sound of my whistle. Each player has an identical side of the mountain to climb and may not cross into another player's path. Now, during their climb, they must light up each of six targets located on their side of the mountain. The first player to set off all the targets, including I the, they were called actuators. The, of the mountain, will receive first place points. Mike. The crag right. looks different. So anybody's game. Maybe well, they changed up, man. Want to take a look as our Purple had a clear lane for a while. In this last event, they definitely added Third some noises. Yeah, we used to do we not? Oh, here it is. Points. Second place, okay. And first place, 725 points. Anybody can win it here on the It'd be very close if that happens. I think he Please would win by like 50 points. Go, kid. Nice job, Shelly. Holy Whoa. shit. Oh, my <laughs> goodness, Heather. Shelly's a bad out of a cannon. Holy smokes. Heather? Shelly looks like Wolverine. He no fucking way. Did you know Heather had that kind of quit in her? Uh-oh. Who won? I think Shelly did. It should have been Heather. I think Heather. The aggro crag again looks like it's going to decide. Does that give Zach the show victory? It might. So. What's going to happen on here, folks? To, right? The points, as I said, on this final event. Let's go to the official results and get them for more. The final, get me down. final get event. Me down. The points: seven hundred and twenty-five oh. for first she place. Down, she flew up. That's that awesome. Let's go to Mo right now. Mike, that truly Rusty. was split second. Um, I thought for a second he might have got it. He gave a late Heather, effort. Okay. Purple. No, I beg you your ask. pardon. Rusty and Red with 1,250 points. In second place, Heather and Purple with 1,375 wow. points. And first place goes to Shelly and Blue. Of that mountain as they're getting down off the mountain. How about Take it, Zach? Right here. And the boulders come out. Proud. Are you proud? proud? I'm proud. Shot, as you can see on your no. left. Michelle, Started out. Shelly, Ely, didn't think. No one there. here thought she would she do it except for me. Take the win. Hitting that actuator. Oh, yeah. There's a great shot right there. The snowstorm going right off before she That's grabbed snow. the way Mike. up there. Mike. An excellent, excellent finish. Watch her hit this actuator with authority. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Hello. An yeah, yeah. awesome job on that one. Our players definitely playing a great game. And Heather. What? Yes! What? Edging out.
Let's take the leaderboard. What was the, the leaderboard. Mo, What was Mo saying? Was Mo was board? so wrong. The leaderboard we have Rusty in red with 1075. What was the point of saying the score? Earlier? <laughs> it was totally wrong. She got it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> they don't do any post edit here. Yeah, it's true. And we've got Heather with 1550 points. 25 okay. points. Let's go! You got Rusty. <laughs> That would have been brutal for Zach to get first place, and he gets first Second pick next place. episode. Now, mm. I got to win. Zach gets first pick. You lose. That's atrocious. I think it's back-to-back -back episodes where the first pick lost. So, good luck, Zach. We'll see. What a nail-biter. The math needs to be easier. Crazy. That was, oh, wow, a chest bump. That was no, no if ends, or buts. These kids got guts. I hope he sticks with that the rest of the way. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. See ya.